That made me think about um, Kevin Samuels. Why? Why do you think about Kevin Samuels? In terms of, in terms of what I think he, I wasn't subscribed. So for the record, I wasn't one of his. I was going to say, you better put a disclaimer quick. I'm not one of his followers. Um, Wait, why would he have to put on a disclaimer quick? You see how angry she is? When he mentioned Kevin Samuels, it really set this Cruella off. This clip right here comes from Comedy Hype. It's an interview with Amanda Seals. One time for Two Nice NYC who sent this in. Go ahead and take a second to make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. Click that notification bell for all updates. Won't waste any time here. Let's go ahead and jump into it. He's, a, he's aligning relationships on surface things yeah. versus grounding them in the depths of our spirit. That made me think about um, Kevin Samuels. Why? Why do you think about Kevin Samuels? In terms of, in terms of what I think he, I wasn't subscribed. So for the record, I wasn't one I of was his. I was gonna say, you better put a disclaimer quick. I'm not one of his followers. Um, but when I do talk to people that have been in tune with his messaging, it does seem from the outside he was trying to, I guess, uh, What's the word? Balance out. And by the way, if anybody ever wonder why Amanda Seals, she can't keep a man, this is why. She's 100% crazy. She's combative. She has no femininity. But just look at these crazy faces that she's making all because he mentioned Kevin Samuel's name. The, the criticism kind of even the playing field. Is that what he was trying to do? In, in hindsight of men who, let me put this in, let me put this right. Black men, we are raised in a matriarch society. You're not raised in a matriarchal society, though. That's it, false. I mean, just because it, you're raised by a woman doesn't mean you're raised in a matriarchal society. In our in our community, I was raised by a single mother. In a patriarchal society. In a matriarchal household, just like majority of the black kids raised today by their single mothers. And now I'll go a bit further. Even the ones raised with both parents, a lot of them have a beta father who is allowing the woman to control the household. Majority of modern women who are married, they are not submissive and cooperative. That's why over 50% of them end up in divorce. Okay. But in my experience, this is my experience. No, but I'm telling you, like your experience doesn't change the society that we're in. Okay. Even though you were raised by a woman, she's raising you within a patriarchal framework. Fair. What I, let me try to express. Women aren't lead, like she wasn't raising you within a space where women are leaders that are revered mm -hmm. and like that you should aspire. Like that's not what we're in. I'm just laying up what I think these brothers are coming from. <laughs> Fair, okay. Where you, okay. <laughs> it's not me, I'm not. Okay. <laughs> and I think that. I despise them. I think that those brothers who don't maybe have the strongest self-esteem or the strongest awareness of how to lead um, a woman in a healthy way, um, at times maybe felt pushed to the side, felt discredited because they didn't have a certain status. And I think with a guy like Kevin Samuels, they gravitated towards him because he was now holding women accountable more than we've ever really seen it. It wasn't delivered the best, but I can that only from the outside look at false. it. That is completely false. That is, I'm gonna have to go completely against that. Okay. Um, so why do you think people were listening? I think this, I, people were listening to him because we're in a f***ed up society <laughs> and he was confirmation bias for their f***ed upery. Mm. That's why. And that right there, that reaction, is why Kevin Samuels used to say that accountability was a modern woman's kryptonite. They refuse to be held accountable. They hate anybody that's gonna tell them the truth. It's the lack of accountability for all these years with Amanda Seals. That's why she's had these results time and time again. You can't tell her anything, she has to be right. And it's another reason why a woman that would be considered attractive, she's so ugly. Her disposition is ugly. Her attitude is nasty. The same reason that people are mad at me because I'm affirming a truth that's inconvenient to their <laughs> right so they're like that bitch she's making me feel some type of way i don't want to feel some type of way no amanda you're just annoying you're a misandrist who think that you're woke just because you have a black history degree and who the f is she to make me feel some type of way but the way you feel that i'm making you feel mm -hmm. is because it's a truth that you know mm -hmm. but you have to deal with it and you're not ready to deal with it because if you deal with it it's gonna bring up a whole bunch of other properly that you have to deal with. 
and you don't necessarily have the support system around you or the tools to be able to do so. Did anybody realize that she's talking about herself? And that is the fault of our whole social network, right? But this idea of holding women accountable, mm -hmm. it's a to me, it's a false equivalency. Because it sound the reason why he came up is because you said that, and this is only me seeing clips, like highlights of his work. Oh, I've seen a lot. Okay. So you, you're probably more of an expert in this space than me. But it did seem like you were saying the thing of like women having these like crazy expectations that they don't necessarily apply to themselves. And it felt like he was trying to do the same thing from the clips I saw. But the thing is, is that I'm, I'm basing that on value systems, mm -hmm. integrity, mm -hmm. right? Your ethics. Mm -hmm. He's basing that on materialism, mm -hmm. uh, on your outward appearance. Mm -hmm. and on status. So he's trying to, he was uh, doing what I think is a very big disservice to folks because he's, he's, a, he's aligning relationships on surface things yeah. versus grounding them in the depths of our spirit. Mm -hmm. And those surface things that he's, that he was, you know, basing things on, ultimately end up being about greed mm. and being about just things that don't carry you through when you really are dealing with life. Your looks, mm. your money, your status. When your mom dies, what's that gonna, like, it may mean that you can bury her in the coffin that you want. If your child is born with a disability, mm -hmm. it may mean that you can get them the care that you want because you have some money, but. Mm -hmm. So talk to the lower frequency. The high vibration is you. I, don't, I mean, I'm emotional right now. The high vibration. She just said I'm emotional right now. That's the contempt. Is you consistently challenging yourself to live in light. And all those things that he was talking about are not about that. When Amanda is talking about materialism and the money and everything, that's what the women wanted who called Kevin Samuels. Amanda should be having that conversation with women. All they care about is how much money they're making. And if he's bringing in a certain amount of money, these modern women, they could care less about spirit and integrity. They don't have that themselves. They called up looking for a man making 100,000, 200,000, so they could be able to have kids by them, get married to them, and not have to work. That's not Kevin Samuels, that's what the women wanted. Another thing I see that Amanda has a problem with is the criteria, how women qualify for those men that they wanted. The real problem is she used to watch Kevin Samuels all the time and she realized why she was never qualified for the men she wanted. Why she never could get along with anybody. Remember her castmates on Issa Rae's show? They couldn't stand her on Insecure. None of them, the men or the women. And that's basically a cast of black people. So she couldn't blame white people there. I remember years and years ago, she had a big blowout with rapper Wale. Wale, who's Nigerian, he wasn't used to women acting like her, like Amanda, who's Caribbean. You know, a lot of men from the East just can't stand the way Western women behave. And the truth is, we have a lot of Western men, they can't stand it either. That's why they're looking around for the men and can't find them. Let's go ahead and get the conversation started. What was Amanda's real problem with Kevin Samuels? Shout out to Dre, I appreciate you brother, as well as Wesley, Dark Power, and our sister Trey Shell. I appreciate all of you. Wanna see more content like this? You can support the channel too. Links to Cash App and PayPal are below. Ladies, fellas, want a balance analysis? Want the truth from a woman's perspective? Then you're gonna wanna subscribe to this channel and don't forget to like and share.